So hey guys, I'm your Wednesday vlogger. Um, I'm pretty upset right now because we had like a seven minute video recorded I and for some reason my computer decided to record it as a really slow motion voice. So it's going like those noises and that was pretty bad. I don't know what was going on with that. Deal with the cat. My cat is crying at my brother for some reason. Go feed him. He's full. He wants your attention. I don't want it to give him attention. Well, you got it's it. Cat. Get out of the All bed. Right. So anyway, we were doing awkward moment stories, but we really, uh, we're just going to do memory type of moments right now, like what we remember, uh, from school, from anywhere. So one of the ones, um, that was brought up was, uh, from school late at night when we saw some strange things. So first let me introdu introduce my brother and my friend again. My brother Timothy's here with me. Hey guys. And my friend Edson. Somebody stop, up. He's on Skype right now talking to us because he can't be here right now. He's at his house, which is kind of lame. It's only right down the street, too. Yeah, kind of lame. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about that Edson brought up is some strange things we saw late at night when we have a night class. The first one was during a snowstorm. He's Edson, would you like to tell the story? So after a long class of, what was it? We watched a movie, I think. I think it was... Uh... The history class? Yeah. It was, a, it was snowy outside, and so we were heading home. And then Tiff takes the shortcut that she likes to take past her grandmother's house. And then while we were heading down that little hill down there, we see a car in front of us, kind of not, kind of like not moving, but sliding. Like the car was literally off, but it was sliding down the hill towards the stop sign. And it kind of went into the sidewalk. So we were just like, okay, people can't drive today. So then absolutely. Oh, is that when they hit the stop sign? Yes, that was also on the same day. I figured I'd make the story longer. Yeah, they were going really, really slow. All of a sudden, they just bumped the stop sign, and then the girl got out. Yes, that, that was a really weird occurrence, and that was yeah. just the start of it. So then when we finally hit the highway, and we're just driving it up, yeah. me and Tip were having a conversation about something. I think it was a movie or something, about the movie in class. And then... And then we didn't say anything for a little bit of time. Then we just then we spaced when we were both spaced back in. Granted, she was the one driving on the highway, so we were spaced out for like a good two minutes. And lucky enough, we didn't hit anything. Let me explain something really quick. Oh dear God! <laughs> uh, in my last video, I explained this. I'm gonna explain it again. This is like the fourth time we've taken a video. Um, when I talk to people, I black out. It looks like I'm interested. It looks like I'm giving you feedback. It even I even have words come out of my mouth that I'm giving you feedback, what you're telling me. In reality, I blank out. I have no idea what you're talking about. And when I snap and come back into that reality, and you're like, oh, you just said blah, blah, blah. I did? And like, yeah. And that's when I turn around and walk away because I have no idea what you're talking about. So if you talk to me and I'm blacked out, you have to make sure... I understand what's going on around me, and that's what happens when I drive sometimes. Only sometimes, not that often. Only late at night, and I know right where I'm going. Anyway, continue. And as we continued driving, we noticed on our side of the highway there was a car turned around, aiming towards us, and we were just like, I guess that person hit some ice. So we just drive past them, not really giving a second thought. Then we run into another one on the other side of the street, turned around. And then, yet, this one was, and we were just like, okay, that's another one. So we were just like, this is kind of questionable. So we keep on going. We see yet another car. But there was something different about this car. This car was up in flames, mind you. Engulfed in flames, like black smoke and everything. It was just wall-to-wall -wall fire shooting out of this thing. And then we, we slowly drove by that one because we were just like, we were in awe that this car was on fire. Of course, at the time, we didn't really think, I hope the person inside the car is okay, because right now we were so in awe of a car on fire. We kind of thought that afterwards. Yeah. And then so, we're, and so we couldn't stop because it was on the other side of the highway, so we kept going. And to our surprise, what did we run into? Another car on fire flipped backwards. So then we're just like, you know what? We need to get home. <laughs> and so we, we, we just stopped paying attention to things around us because it, it just got really weird. Eventually, we got home. And then I, ha I ended up taking a picture of the car on fire. I think I still have it somewhere, but I have, I have no Somewhere. idea. And that 
that is the story of the day that we drove home from a night class on a snowy day where a car was moving really slowly down the hill and stopped and bumped into a stop sign. Four cars turned opposite directions on the highway and two of them on fire. Yep. Um, we've actually seen three cars on fire. Went to McDonald's one day, got an order. Now, before this, there was a car pulled over. The people had gotten out. They lifted up the, the hood of the car, and they were checking things. So we're like, all right, something happened. So as we come back out, the whole car's on fire. Again, I don't know what it was with fire and cars that year, but we saw a total of three cars on fire. I think it's got to be a record somewhere. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, another really, really messed up thing was we were at school late at night, and these people come running down the hallway yelling about something. Remember that, Tim? Yes. Like, we didn't know what was going on. We are like, okay. So we kind of, like, followed them a little bit, and all they did was run to class. Like, it wasn't even, like, late running. Like, something was going on in that class. It was, like, some kind of exercise they were doing. Probably exercise science or something. But they were yelling while they were doing it. It was pretty funny. Yeah, we were just like, what in the world did we just walk in on? Yeah. Um, let's see. I think it's it. I think we're at six minutes... 21, 22 seconds. I okay, like I have one more story. Oh, God, one more story. We, and this story <coughs> was about one day. We had to dedicate this day, this specific day, to people wearing orange shirts and running across the street. Oh, it was red shirts. Oh, red shirts yeah, running across yeah. the street. For some reason, there was a day where... I think it's Wednesday. So it was red shirt day, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it was Wednesday. Uh, no matter where I went... The whole day, there was these people who ran out in front of my car while I was driving, and they all re- wore red shirts or a red hoodie or something. So, <laughs> I would curse at them because you don't, like, run out in front of traffic, but, I mean, traffic, but, like, they all had red shirts, and it was just annoying. Like, Timmy has a red shirt, he, but he didn't run out in front of me today. Right, Timmy? No, actually, technically, I did. Oh, yeah, that. we were shopping, and he ran out in front of my car when I went to drive to go get him. To be fair, she said she was going to wait for me. Then she started Actually, no, I didn't. I said what because I blacked out and wasn't listening to you. We've proven that's an actual thing that happens. Right, right. See? Gotta pay attention. Anyway, I'm your Wednesday vlogger, and I think that we're done. I have a really, really boring life, and I apologize for that. My stories are not that good, but you get a little kick out of fi- of three cars being on fire. Randomly, of course. Yep. So, bye. Say bye, guys. Later. Adios. Hog Rider! No, we need a barbarian. No, Hog Rider!